Greetings, everyone. DFG here, Gideon's Flight. Hey, guys. Uh, just want to take a moment and just uh, uh, share uh, some thoughts around, you know, we the people and, you know, the confusion and the hostility uh, that um, we have embraced and accommodated within, you know, the Hebrew Israelite community, the so-called African-American uh, black people community. You know, and it's, it's really shameful because, you know, now we have become, oh, you know, we have been the joke of society. When I mean society, I'm talking about from a global perspective. We, we the people, have been a joke, have been the butt, the butt of the joke uh, in society for probably now over 100 years. Uh, right after the emancipation, so-called, of, of, of the enslaved, of the people of the Most High, Reconstruction, and all of a sudden, you know, you know, the buffoonery came into play, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the trying to, the imitating of the oppressor, oppressor has come into play. And the um, our model of success has been modeled after the oppressor's, you know, idea of success. And, you know, Nelly Fuller Jr. made a comment. I was listening to him the other day, and he was talking about the oppressor's mentality. I'm talking about the European mentality. It's three things, he said. Uh, the first thing is that they want to have fun. The second thing they live for is for glory. And the third thing that they live for is, 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 is material comfort. Again, the first thing the oppressor, you know, the so-called European, okay, they have three things that they live for. First is fun. You know, they, they want to have fun. You know, and that's how they, that's why they, it, that, that racial um, superiority is, 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 and, and is, is something that's deep entrenched in their core, and they will never, ever, ever release it, ever, because there are three priorities that they have, and, and these three priorities, for this for it to work for them, these three components have to work. They have to keep, for them to have the fun that they want to have, again, for them to have the fun that they want to have, for them to have the glory, that's why when they go around killing people all over the world, you know, they celebrate, they raise the flag, you know, uh, they declare their victory, you know what I'm saying? And you look at it in athletics and anything else they do. They, 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 they want the glory. And then third, they want the material comfort. Those are the three things that those who oppress the people of Yahweh live for, the people of Yahuwah live for. And now they have, that, that same thing now has penetrated into the community, again, 100 years plus, in our community, to the point now that we, are so uh, inundated of trying to imitate and be like the oppressor that we have totally lost any sense of, 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 of normalcy, any sense of rationality, any sense of you know, integrity, any sense of humanity. And I'm going to give you an example of that. I'll tell you this video, video, The Thriller in Manila, okay, part two. I should have told it the thriller in New Orleans part two, because it's two years in a row, this particular event has come in play. And the hostility that was shown amongst our people is enough to make you just want to get on your knees and ask Elohim to come and come now, to save us from ourselves. And I'm going to show you the video in just a moment. I'm going to read something to you, and I'm going to show you the video. So don't go. You want to see this. You If you want to see what hostility looks like amongst the people, the so-called people, the bourgeois of the city of New Orleans and other places. I'm sure people are coming from all over the country to be a part of this, this Zulu ball is what they call it. Zulu after the African tribe, the Zulus. Okay. You know, which I'm sure the Zulus would never conduct themselves the way that these so-called African Americans conducted themselves the other day. And I heard people talking about well, some of them were drunk. When I show you this video, these guys, and women who are part of this brawl, this this debauchery, this chaos, this 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 violence, they were moving too fluent, too fluently to have been intoxicated. The only thing that's intoxicated is their mind, their soul. Their soul is corrupt. Their soul, that's that's the only attack wickedness has come upon them because they're trying to imitate other societies. Secret societies are are are, are Greek societies, are societies of ancient age. They have no idea what these societies are all about, and they don't understand that when you participate in the in these Zulu balls, these carnival balls, these Mardi Gras balls, these these idolatrous balls, that those demon spirits will come upon you as it has always been upon them. 
why they were able to do the things that they do around the world. That's why they're able to do the things that they've done to our people and did to our people. Because we'll always do to our people until the Most High put a stop to their, to, to their existence on this planet. It will continue to happen. But in the meanwhile, we'll suffer and we'll die unmercifully because we have chosen the way of the heathen. But again, because those are the three things that they need, talking about Esau and that group, to, 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 to maintain white superiority. I'm going to call it for what it is. And I'm not saying that all whites practice this, but as a culture, this, these three things are the three things that they're seeking, most of them. One, again, to have fun. They're all about having fun. I want to have fun. They're looking for the next party, next social event, next things so that they can have some fun. Number two, they're looking for glory. Look at me. Look at my nice home. Look at my nice car. Look at my nice community. Look at my nice school. Look at my nice church. Look at my, you know, all about their glory. Look at my great teams. All right? Look at my great military. And then the last but not least, you know, they're looking for material comfort. They don't want to work. They just want to receive the benefits of the works of others. And now we as a people have walked into that same vortex and we're destroying ourselves. Now that leads me to what the book has to say. Okay, let me, again, let's go home. Let's go right to what our book warned us about. It says, hear the word of Yahuwah, my children. This is Hosea 4 and 1, uh, Hosea chapter 4. Hear the word of Yahuwah, my children. Of Israel. For Yahuwah has, has a controversy with the inhabitants of this land because there is no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of Elohim in the land. You know, I had somebody, you know, comment on the video where that uh, religion is for weak. Yeah, religion is for weak, but the most high is for the strong. But he said, there is no knowledge of Elohim in the land by swearing and by lying and by killing and by stealing and by breaking wedlock, they break out and the blood touches blood. Therefore shall they mourn and everyone that dwells in shall languish with the beast of the field, the fowls of heaven. Yes, the fish of the sea also will be taken away. Therefore you shall fall in a day and the prophet shall also fall with you in the night and I will destroy your mother. This is what the scripture says. This is the consequence of us turning away. Because he says, for my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they have rejected the knowledge. I will also reject you that you shall be no, there shall be no priest in the land, seeing that you have forsaken the Torah of your Elohim. I will also forget your children. Now, this is the word. This is the word. Now, you want to see the manifestation of the consequence of the word? Let me show you a manifestation of the consequences of the word. All right, just so you know that Elohim word is true. The scripture teaches us that Yahweh's word be true and that the word of every man be a lie. Here you go. Check this out, guys. Now, this is at a glamour ball, the bourgeois. These people have learned to hate themselves. Who taught them this kind of hatred of their own selves? Look at this. Shameful. Shameful, shameful, shameful. Second year in a row, when you chase the ways of the enemy, then the enemy ways will become your way. That's what the scripture says. Sad. You follow me? Your mother's going to die. Our children are going to die because of the evil that we have embraced. And your men will become vicious beast animals unless they repent. And they're not going to repent. What repenting means just have a change of heart, a change of thought, a change of mind. But no, because we want the three things that the, that the oppressor, des oppressor desires. Because they have no Elohim. The only Elohim they have is self-glorification. That's why they can be so vicious to everyone. And now we have become like them. Seeking and living. But the three things, we just want to have fun. 
We just want to have the glory. You know, we just want to have the material comforts. And for those reasons, we have turned our back on the Most High. And he said, because you have rejected me, I reject you and your family. So I'll end this video to my brothers and sisters who love Elohim. You know, those of us who understand that we have to resist the devil. We have to resist the, the, the things of the world, the glory of the world. Remember in Matthew 4 and 4, when, when, when Satan came to Yeshua, he said, if you bow down and worship me, and he showed them the, 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 all the kingdoms of the earth and the glory. He said, if you bow down and worship me, I'll give you all of these things. And you know what, 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 what Yeshua said to him? Thou shalt worship Elohim, and only Elohim will I serve. And he's supposed to be the model for us, the Hebrew Israelite, copper color, so-called, you know, uh, aboriginal people here on Turtle Island. But we have rejected that. Instead of us saying no to Satan, we are running now after the ways of Satan. And until we reject him, we will continue to be violent and hostile and bitter and unmerciful and killers of one another. Lying, thieving, and no honor at all. Sad. Anyway, DFG, Gideon's flight. Talk to you soon, guys.